Hello, uh, today I want to talk to you about the new vehicle safe that I picked up for my Jeep from Console Vault. I first became aware of Console Vault a couple years ago. I had picked up a new Chevy Colorado pickup truck, was looking for something to protect my valuables, uh, whether I'm at the range, whether I'm on a trail, whether I'm camping, just to give me a little bit more peace of mind while I'm out there doing these activities. So recently I picked up a 2013 Jeep Wrangler and one of the first things that I did want to get as far as accessories for my Jeep was a console vault because it had worked out for me really well with the pickup truck. I logged on to console volts website, looked, made sure they had the right size for my Jeep model and luckily they did and decided to pick it up and I was also able to take advantage of their veteran discount which is excellent for them to extend to us and at the same time those are the companies that I want to support because they support me. So once I received my console vault for the Jeep I went ahead was already familiar with everything I opted for the Elite Lock because that's what I had on my pickup truck I'm used to it like it and I figured I'd stick with the same exact one and I went ahead and began the simple installation in my Jeep Wrangler. If you want to know more details about that specific installation as well as this console vault. Stay tuned. Now the console vault is made of heavy gauge steel. It's cold rolled plate steel with welded tabs and notch seams. It has the triple guard locking system so it does resist prying. The locks that are provided for the console vault are also drill resistant locks. The way that it is built it won't cover any USB ports or 12 volt outlets that are in your console. So that is certainly a plus you want to add, not take away. And it comes with a lifetime warranty. My uh, Jeep Wrangler is a JK as far as models. And I went ahead and consulted with uh, Console Vault, made sure that I was ordering the correct one. And luckily it was the correct one. I'll place more information as well as links to this uh, specific product in the description, so be sure to check it out. As far as the dimensions on this specific uh, console vault for my Jeep Wrangler, the interior is 6.125 inches long by 6.375 inches wide by 9.5 inches high. As far as the lid opening, it is four inches long and five and a quarter inches wide. Now, one of the great features about this console vault is that it's super simple to install. I actually had a buddy with me uh, just so that I could uh, work the camera a little bit easier while he did the installation. And basically from beginning to end, it took about five minutes. Now within that five minutes installation, there was actually an extra tray that was in the console that uh, basically got in the way of the safe, A and B, we had no use for it. So it's a plastic piece in the back. You're able to just kind of move the plastic pieces to the side. They open up and it easily pops right out. So that is certainly recommended to do uh, in order for your console to close easily over the safe and uh, have no issues at all. As far as the installation, as I mentioned, very easy. There are three holes in this safe that are already in there and there are three pretty much self tapping uh, bolts or screws that I utilized with an 11 millimeter socket wrench. Uh, I didn't have to do any drilling, nothing forceful. Uh, these bolt screws are uh, relatively self tapping so super easy to be able to install and like I said uh, from beginning to end a five minute process. When it comes to the lock and specifically this elite lock it comes with four zeros as far as what the factory default code is. And in the lock itself, you will see like a little recessed uh, button here where you'll be able to take a paper clip, press that in there, set the actual code that you want uh, for different digits, take the paper clip out and you are good to go. On the elite lock, it'll just spin around and spin around. What you wanna do is there is a little side dial button once you press that in, it will engage and you'll be able to open the safe, 
as long as you have the correct code. The way that the safe operates uh, after a couple years of using it, it's very intuitive, uh, especially for the driver utilizing your right hand. Uh, once you do operate it a few times, it really becomes second nature. You don't even have to look down at your safe to reach in there and get anything that you might need even while you're driving. Now, I did receive a couple comments on the other review that I did for the initial console volt that I got for my pickup truck. And uh, a couple people were, uh, let's say, complaining on there and stating that the safes are uh, easy to break into and you could break into them and all this other stuff. Well, I really, I don't think there's a safe out there that cannot be broken into. What we're trying to do here, at least for my uh, application, is I'm trying to have a deterrent, uh, something that would take a would-be thief that much longer uh, to be able to access my valuables. And uh, from uh, my experience, uh, thieves are relatively lazy, right? They want the least path of resistance. So the tougher that we can make it for them uh, by using a deterrent like this console bolt, the better that we're going to bode and hopefully be able to retain our valuables. In the box itself, you'll have a small installation manual pamphlet. Uh, it'll have the three screws, bolts uh, that are self-tapping that you will need for the actual installation. And once again, depending on your lock choices, I think there are three different lock choices. I went with the Elite Lock. There'll be a separate little piece of paper in there on the specific instructions for installing as well as operating that specific lock. So bottom line, if you're in the market for a vehicle safe that is super easy to install, very well built, intuitive, has a lifetime warranty from a very reputable company, and if you are a veteran, you're able to take advantage of the discount. Definitely take a look at this console vault. I 